the symbol of the rupee. And this is the man who designed it. Uday Kumar's design was chosen from amongst 2468 entries. It will be the one symbol that would represent India's growing economic power and be the nation's identity amidst an elite set of currencies like the dollar, pound or the euro. I focus my design on Indian culture, trying to bring out the Indianness and Indian culture into the symbol. So that was my main objective. On July 15, 2010, when the Union Cabinet chose his symbol, Final entry which was submitted as a design by Shri D. Uday Kumar. Uday was making a transition in life. He had completed five years as a PhD student in industrial design at IIT Mumbai and had moved to teaching students as an assistant professor in IIT Guwahati. Physically far removed from his Tamilian roots in Chennai where he was brought up, the subject of his research remains close to his mother tongue. And it is more static and monotonous sometimes. Uday's PhD thesis is on the little known subject of Tamil typography, which deals with designing fonts for the Tamil script which make it easier to read. It's a field of research that could help develop and make it easier to use several regional languages like Tamil on the computer. There are a lot of studies have been done in terms of the Roman scripts in, around the world. So many uh, research papers and literatures are available on the, uh, in the Roman script. But not many research of that has happened in our own script. So I would look at the readability issues of or legibility issues of designing uh, Tamil typefaces in, in our own language. So, as he enjoys his morning glass of water and newspaper, have things changed for this introvert academic after he became the man who gave the rupee its symbol? Not much of a change. I am say I'm the same person before winning and after winning. So, I'll, and I like to remain the same. Life may not have changed for him, but his symbol has changed the way the rupee would be represented forever.